Hopefully there's no line down the middle of this freaking camera on this video. Or I'll be freaking pissed. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. Well, I did it. I got myself some brake clean and some gasket El Gupo. And it's only Tuesday, so I'm doing pretty good this week. You know, it's colder in Dixon here because I didn't turn the heat on today, but it is what it is. It's freaking right it is what it is. Give this a little brake clean action. Just put it on the carpet. Why wouldn't I, eh? Oh, yeah. That's freaking decent. There we go. That's much better. Hope you don't take my paint off. Doesn't look like it is. Yet. We'll have to see. Oh, yeah. That stuff works amazing. I don't know if you guys have used brake clean before. That stuff tits. Freaking right, it's tits. Big yeah. tits. Like double D's, boys. Double D's, boys, girls, peoples. Eat some air, Captain. Well, there we go, there's one. Now I do the other one. This is the one that was bad. This is the one that's gonna really need it. You have to really feed it to it. Oh, just let it run, son. Look at it, just get it all over the carpet. Why wouldn't I? Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you do. Look at that. There's a whole can right there, and it's just for you. Boys, if we were going the wrong way, you were. Let's blow it in the hole. The old PCV hole. There we go. Decent. All right, I feel better. We got some brake clean into her. Cap, now we can put the new gaskets on if you watch me. Why wouldn't you? You see, probably not. You're looking at an intake manifold. Very right, you can see now. So, what we need to do here is we need to take this new gasket and we need to fix a spot for it. So it looks like it goes this way. So that's the other one. So we need this one. There we go, that's better. We'll slap this in the hole like so. Oh, these fit nice, Jim. Very right, they fit nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, stretch it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at the seal on that, bitch. Nice and high. It's classy fella. Well, it's not staying in too good though. It's got a little bit too much stretch to it. Stay in your groove. Well, we better just leave that like that because we're gonna have to check it again. But hey, we'll get them in there and that way it'll kind of stretch. And then by the time we're done bolting the oil pan on, we'll be good to go. So put this in, just like this. These are, these are nice little gaskets here. Good job, Moroso. Nice and snug each. Nothing like a good snug job. Ooh, this one's really snug. Holy. We'll have to add some heat to these just to get them to stretch a little better, but we got it. It's in. There we go. You just sit there and don't move. They're in, Jim. Freaking right, and I like the way they have the nice big lip up. So now we can go over here and let's slap the can in. We'll slap on the old oil damage, which you can't see dicks because you're lowering the cock. Where the hell am I supposed to put you? Yeah, that's no good there. You need to be higher so you can see what's really going on, you do. So the, the footage is getting a little crappy here because I'm gonna zoom you in on what I'm doing down here. That way you can see what's really going on. I'll stand on this side. How you doing? You see me? Figure out again. So we're gonna lift the pan back off. Ow! Frick, that hurt. Like so. And we're gonna lift the seal back off like so. And we're gonna grab some goop. But like I said, you don't have to put a lot of goop. Just a little goop. Hold on, we gotta trim the knob. So when I'm trimming my knob, I just take a little bit off. Like that, because you don't want much. Just a little. So you take that off, and right here and here, where the gaskets join, you give them a little doodad. And I'm a firm believer in the blue. Captain, I use blue. Like I said, not much, just a little. Some guys go overboard with this stuff. There we go, just like that, Captain. So now, we can take it, and we can put the seal on, and now you know it's gonna seal where the pan joins the other pan. That's beautiful. So now we put the pan back on. And we can get some bolts. Painted all my bolts, dude. And look at them things. They look amazing. You know, I'm gonna see them. That's about it. Just me. Ooh. Careful. So we'll slot these in the hole. And I'm gonna tighten the front ones too. Because once they get my balancer, I can uh, take them two bolts out if I have to move it a little bit. I want the gasket to set properly. So we're gonna do it that way. 
and then I know I'm safe. Mm. Oh, freak yeah. I hate to say it, Kim, but I'm missing a bolt. Did I drop one? I think I did, didn't I? I'll have to go back and look at the video. I'm pretty sure I dropped the bolt. There it is right there. I did drop one. <laughs> Let's get ourselves a socket for this bad boy. Where the f yeah. the 10 mil? Yeah. Small D socket. This kit sucked dick. <laughs> Maybe not. It's okay. We'll change your mind. We'll slap these in here like this, and we'll give them the stuck job. And here we go, hand bombing. What is really going on? Whatever. What's the rush, Captain? We may go look for the torque specs in this thing. Because, like everything, it's got torque specs. What's really going on? Get in there. Got a little bit of a blobby in there. I painted two extra bolts, and I don't know why, because I really don't know where they came from. Oh, somebody else commented on something too that I wanted to mention. Somebody commented that, why the hell are you painting that stuff that you don't even see? Because I know it's there, that's why. If I know it's there, then I know it's there. So that's the way she goes, boys. That's the way she goes. There's two more screws here and I have no idea what the hell they're for. So we'll just set these aside for now. These ones are 106 inch, inch pounds, not foot pounds, and these are 18. So there you go. So we need this one, and we need to go 18, 16, 17, 18, right there. Everyone sells a shallow penny. And I'm gonna start from the middle out, because that's the way I've always done it. Ah, uh, yeah. 106 inch pounds. I wonder why they go from 18 foot pounds to 106 inch pounds. Like, why would you just say, whatever the hell it is? There we go. Oil pan on. So now we can actually flip this bad boy. Look at her. Hey, look at the bolt. How is that not awesome? And I know it's there. So now we're going to flip this engine over and we're going to get started on the valve covers. We'll get them on. Because that's what I do. And I want to go which way, Captain? I don't remember. Whichever way it will go. How's that? Oh, that's all oh, wrong yeah. way. Hey, Steve. I love your engine stand, bud. She's mint. God. We'll do this one first. So this one will be the non-oil filler one, which is this guy. The PCB valve goes to the back. So the gas is still in properly. So we'll set her down and line her up. So there we go. There's one. Make sure the gas gets in good. Excellent. So now we gotta figure out what we got here for foot pound inches. Can you see that? Probably not. Look at that. Look at that nice new gasket in there. I did screw my paint up a little bit. Oh no, I didn't. It rubs right off. Nothing like rubbing one off. Sorry, Jim. I missed that. Could you say it again, please? I rubbed one off. I didn't get that. Could you try again? I jerked myself off. What? You don't want to answer me now? I don't have an answer for that. Well, Is there something else I can help with? Nothing at all. You're useless. Go away. Why wouldn't you? That's not nice. I know. That's how I roll, Jim. But what were we looking at? Oh, yeah. Valve cover torque specs. Five, three, six, or whatever. They're all the goddamn same, Captain. Valve cover torque. What the hell? Is it just tight until you feel good? Oh, God. Here we go. Go look for valve covers, Jim. Valley. Oh, careful. Coil pack brackets, really? Eight Newton meters, just so you know. Rocker arms, valve, valve gully, camshaft, 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 valve guides, oil, front cover, oil capacity, oil. Whatever I found, she's a good one, Jim. Okay, that didn't work, go back. Oh, there it is, 110, come on. Four bolts, that's correct. Nobody can find the torque specs. I'm pretty sure it's 106 inch pounds, not foot pounds. Eight foot pounds. Yeah, this guy's, don't listen to that guy. Eight foot pounds of torque. I wouldn't go 110 or 106, 106 inch pounds maybe. Right there, eight mil, boys. So we'll start from the middle again and go out. That seems too tight. I'm just gonna snug them. I ain't gonna go by any torque specs. Hell with that. Go until it feels good. You can see the gaskets are starting to squeeze. That's when I'd stop. Friggin' right, that's when I'd stop. You can look at the grommets on the screws and you know when you're tight enough. 
If you go too tight, you'll rip them and then they'll be garbage. That should tell you something right there. Beautiful. Go until you want to stop. How's that? If you cock it over and rip it, then you know you went too fur. That's what I say. All right, number two. Who do you work for? Who does number two work for? Oh, cover on. Oh, cover on. Oh my God, I'm starting to get somewhere. I ordered the vent kit, just so you know, by the way. Vent kit is ordered. Careful. So it won't be long now, Captain. Oh, Jesus. What happened? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna order seals for these valve covers for the screws, because they don't look that great. They're pretty dried out. So maybe we should order some of them anyways. We can always change them after. All right, so there we go. Valve covers on. Oil pan on. This thing's ready to fire. Now, I know some of you use knock sensors and some of you don't. I was told not to use knock sensors. I'm putting them in and wiring them up. That way they're there in case I do want to use them. We got brand new ones. I might as well put them in and they'll fill the holes and stuff like that. We'll just leave the wires there in case I want to use them down. So that's the way she's going to go. I know Trevor, don't use them, but I'm going to put them in and we'll just leave the wire wherever the hell we feel like leaving it. That way, if I ever sell the engine, the knock sensors are in. Even though I'm going to fucking sell them, so I ain't off this goddamn shit. But here boys, I'm going to give you a treat today. We're going to set the intake back on her so you can have a gander at her. Just a gander. There you go. She fits, Jim. Just. Look how nice and tight that low ram with a low ram snorkel. The really low. The low, the low, low ram. They make a low top flow ram too, but this is a low, low ram. This is like Corvette style here, Jim. So for anybody that doesn't know me, the van carburetor sits about this high and then the, the air breather sits on top of it. So actually, you're going to be able to put your hand probably right in under the tunnel to see this in the van. And I'm going to have LEDs in here so this will all light up. When you open the hood, you'll see that baby. That's my plan. Leave your comments down below if you think that's a good plan. But look at that. Starting to come together. Oil pans on. Covers on. Got to order a balancer. Is anybody watching this that's doing an LS project? This is a truck engine. So all the pulleys sit out further where I want them to sit in further. So I'm trying to look up a balancer for like an F-body that had an LS in it for a new balancer. I'm gonna order just a stock GM replacement balancer. Cause I've been looking them up last night and there's quite a few different ones. But I'm gonna to try to use all my brackets from the van and bolt them to the heads. So I can put my AC back here and I can put my alternator back on that side and the power steering down here somewhere. So we gotta figure that all out still. Which is gonna be all right, because I don't mind figuring out. If I have to order brackets, I'll order brackets, but I'm gonna try to make it so it mounts around all this stuff, because this is totally different. Like this, the alternator sits on this side, and the friggin' AC's way down here, and I can't move the AC of the van. The AC's of the van's gonna go over there. So we're gonna have to figure that out together. No flu do. But there we go. It's coming together good. This is a quick video on slapping the valve covers and the oil pan back on. So next video, we'll slap the coil packs on, and maybe put on the exhaust manifolds and we'll uh, try out the new spark plug wires, see how they're gonna look. So I should order plugs for this thing too. That's the next thing I should do. I do have injectors. Kenny Manning, Kenny Manning? Yeah, Kenny Manning has injectors, but I think I might have found some 80 pound injectors that are pretty much brand new that somebody decided not to use. So if you're watching this, Kenny, I'll probably end up going with them just because the guy that's gonna need new injectors is getting them from you anyways. So there you go, hey bud? If anybody needs injectors, don't forget to go see Kenny there, and I'll put a link to his Facebook below if you need special injectors for your LS build, because he uh, he seems to be the man. He does. Hopefully everybody liked this video. I have more coming up, of course. Every day he's getting closer to spring, so we're going to have to have this thing ready soon so we can slap her in the old van. But love you all. Thanks for being here. Please subscribe, like, hit the notification. And until next time, you know what to do for now.